I remember our, our sound engineer, Bob Schindel, said, you finally come up with something that you're gonna kill yourself on. So I wanted to prove him wrong. You wanna do any of the spinning thing now? It's just spin and walk away. Yes, I have fallen off this thing more than once, by the way, like so, right? <laughs> Hello, my name is Lawrence Gowan, or just Gowan as the solo artist, or a member of Styx with my full name. And you know, I'm a piano player and a singer, and, uh, but you're also supposed to kind of entertain. And so I kind of came up with this idea of the spinning keyboard stand so that I had some motion on stage and the guitar players weren't having all the fun walking around and engaging different parts of the audience. Keyboard players, you know, so often we're in the background or we have a stack of keyboards up in front of us so it looks like we're cooking sushi back there or something. So I love when the piano player gets to move out front. That's part of it. That's why you have to have, you know, some moving apparatus. So over the years, I've figured out different ways of using it. As long as you put the brake on, you can actually get up and stand on top of this thing if I don't hit that microphone. <laughs> From here, in the middle of Come Sail Away, I like to be able to re release, release as the band is, is playing and just jump straight down into the A-flat chord of that. Not like that, but anyway, I actually hit the A-flat usually. <laughs> I'm just trying not to hit all this other stuff. But at the third show, I forgot to put the brake on. And when I went up top and I went to jump over the thing, uh, I pushed off and the whole thing began to turn like that. <laughs> As I came down, my tailbone landed right here. This is, this is stainless steel, by the way. And the keyboard came out of the tray and did a, did a complete somersault into the front row and smashed to smithereens. And of course, as you can imagine, the audience reaction was, yeah! Anyway, I couldn't afford to do that any, any further, so I try to remember to put the brake on. I think it's good when you start to think about unique ways that you can present what you do. After assessing your own talents, there might be something that, whether it's a, a hairstyle or a tattoo or a piercing or a spinning piano or something you can do that kind of makes it unique to you. It gives you just a little flavor of the fun that you're having. And then when you walk away, like you just don't care about it anymore, you just, you just spin and walk away and leave the thing. Just leave it revolving like that. When you come back, try not to maim yourself. Try not to maim yourself. As you re-enter and get back into it again. And that's the spinning stand. Or maybe it's just a piano. <laughs> I encourage you to take your piano for a spin every day.